Let's get started with the events section of our application. And since events API is a GET request, I'm going to start with the services and finish off with the UI. All right, events is not connected with authentication. So we are going to create a separate service to deal with fetching the list of regular and special events and we are not going to be using the auth service. So the first step is to generate a new service called event service. So in the terminal, navigate to the ng app folder and then run the command ng g for generate, s for service and then the name of the service which is event. Next, let's add the service in the providers array in app.module.ts. So in the providers array, I'm going to type event service. And this is also going to automatically import event service for us. Next step, let's make an HTTP call to the backend APIs to fetch the events data. So open event service and over here, first import HTTP client and then inject it. Import and then inject. Next, we are going to create the properties that point to the backend API. So we are going to have private underscore events URL, which points to localhost colon 3000 slash API slash events and private underscore special events URL, which points to localhost colon 3000 slash API slash special. Finally, let's define the methods to make the HTTP GET requests. So the first method is going to be GET EVENTS and within the body, we are going to return this.http.get of type any and the argument is the URL, this dot underscore events URL. Similarly, the second method, GET SPECIAL EVENTS and then within the body, return this.http.get of type any and then the argument is going to be this dot underscore special events URL. So get events returns the array of regular events and get special events returns the array of special events. Keep in mind they do return the data as an observable so we need to subscribe to them in the components. So first open events.component.ts. Now over here, first I'm going to import the event service and then inject it. Import and inject. Next, create a new property to store the list of events returned by the service. So events is equal to an empty array. Now let's subscribe to the observable in the on init lifecycle hook. So over here in ng on init, we're going to type this dot underscore event service dot get events. Next, let's subscribe to this. And when we get the response, we're going to assign it to events. So this dot events is equal to response. If we do get an error, however, we are just going to log that to the console. All right, let's do the exact same thing in the special events component. First, import event service and then inject it. Next, let's create a property called special events. And this is going to be an empty array. And then in ng on init, we are going to fetch the list of special events. So this dot underscore event service dot get special events. We subscribe to this. When we get a response, we are going to assign this dot special events is equal to response. If you do get an error, we're just going to log that to the console. And that's pretty much it. We created a service to fetch the regular and special events and subscribed to the observables in the respective components. In the next video, let's develop the UI.